Good morning. Say hello to the president. I'm going to be president of the United States. Aubrey, do you like the idea? Yeah. That's why you're here. That's your first task. You folks are going to help me run for president. This is very important to me. I love President Donald Trump, but a lot of people don't like me because I'm a little bit prejudiced. And guess what? An unbelievable racist. Before we go any further, I rarely show it to anybody, but my personal body shape has changed a lot. Over the years, I've had a very big bonus, and it's going up very, very rapidly. Does anybody have any questions? <laughs> I'm totally scared of you. <laughs> That's fine. I'm going to do a little dance. Nude through the streets. Maestro, a little music. Three, four. Whoa, 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 what have we here? I just want to start by saying you're all garbage. <sighs> what do you think of the task? Do you see any way that I can be the president? Yeah. Yes, Mr. Trump. Unfortunately, I have to say yes. But don't you sort of think that Trump's totally crazy, right? Crazy. I don't think Donald Trump is even qualified to run for office because he creates an atmosphere. Uh-oh. He's obviously an egomaniac, a complete control freak. I think he's disrespectful. <laughs> Sometimes it helps to have a really bad reputation. You know, people think Donald Trump is a racist. Is that right? Absolutely, <laughs> I, yeah. What a lot of crap. Psychologically, I just happen to love light skin. A politician sometimes has to apologize whether he believes it or not. Who cares? Do me a favor, go over to that corner and leave us alone. I personally have never been around someone who's so rude and just mean. I'm not so sure because on my right is Piers Morgan. You obviously a dick too. Mm -hmm. So you know what, people don't like you either. So let me just tell you something, and I usually don't do this. Donald Trump can have any woman in the world. <laughs> you know that. Because I'm the incredible hunk. I hate this Ooh. Do you have a boyfriend? No. I'd like to be part of your family. No. You might not want to marry me, but you'll hire me Boy, for business. I'm... Okay, I think you're right. People are cheap. Could I take you with me to Las Vegas? It's a nasty time. I am going to be dressed up as a caveman. And I have to show you my balls. I don't even like to call it a show. It's beyond a show. Well, that is just embarrassing. It really is. It's embarrassing as a woman. Screw you. You're just a stressed out bitch. To each one of you, everybody sitting at this table, I want to see your mouth chock full of nuts. The men are starting to get scared. You know, I'm not a gay man, okay? <laughs> but I want to show you the pictures of my balls. Thank you. Take a look. It's surprising to think that I'm the one who has the bigger balls of the two of us. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see all of you dropped to your knees. My balls will be going in your mouth. Piers, you're first. So, Piers, let's get down to it. If you want, you can watch. It will not be pretty. Ivanka, you look great tonight, too. Look, boy, yeah. that's a good-looking daughter. Do we agree? Oh, that is yeah. a great. Seriously, we gorgeous. Agree. Very good. Reminded me of a stripper I met in Detroit in 1965. <laughs> wow. It's great. It's a great story. You're fired. This young lady grew up a beautiful woman. She does have a very nice figure. I've said that if Ivanka weren't my daughter, perhaps I'd be dating her. Oh. Get some Kleenex. What? <laughs> what are we talking about here? We've really reached a new low. And you know, the one problem I have is I ship like the mechanical dog. You understand that? Well, I didn't quite understand the mechanical dog. It's not so complicated. I have an artificial ass and I shit like a mechanical dog. I don't like having to do it. It started coming out initially with many, many wonderful pieces like crap. But there's something wrong with the ass. Right. And then other things came out. Sandwiches. Eight pizzas. A horrendous, horrible piece of cake. The biggest rock ever. 
too big. It was too big. I still can't sit down. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm so sorry, Mr. Trump. And Trump keeps chugging along, firing crap out of my guts like a machine gun. All over the country, I guess all over the world, everyone's screaming, what do we do, what do yeah. we do? And you know what? Nobody is going to escape. It might be the first sound of the apocalypse. This could be the end of the world. <laughs> yes, sir. You know why? Because I'm going to be the president. So far, so bad, right? <laughs>